everyone, so today I'm doing a video on another penny box I did the other day. Um, I actually picked up $10 extra. Um, some of these pennies are the finds from Coin Roll Hunting number 25 when I opened some rolls up. Um, definitely didn't, or didn't cover all of these though. Um, I got 35 wheat pennies out of $35, so that's one every two rolls. That's like my best right now. Um, for the year. It's my best box because the first $25 had 27 wheat pennies. Um, the rest of the $25 boxes I did, uh, I think the highest I got out of one was 19 wheat pennies, but this was a really good box. Um, didn't have a lot of really old ones in it. It did have uh, one 1929, so this is my second one from the 1920s that I found this year. The other one was a 1920. Um, right here, the weirdest thing happened. Uh, I got two 1940 pennies, and they got the same exact type of damage on them. It looks like they were, um, they got like water damage on on them, and they're like rusted. Oh, see, like this one is like orange, and I don't know. It's just neither of them I could find the date at first, so I had to run them under water, and then use a toothpick um, to try and find the date. I picked a little bit of the uh, the dirt off both of them and uh, found out they were um, both 1940. Also got an undamaged 1940, uh, six 1941 pennies, uh, two 1944 Philadelphia Mint, one being almost uncirculated, I'll show you guys that after I go through the rest of these. A 1944 San Francisco Mint, 1948, 50, 51 Denver Mint, two 52s, 52 Denver Mint, uh, 53 Denver Mint. I got three of those, actually. Uh, 53 San Francisco Mint, uh, 54 Philadelphia, 55 55 again, uh, two 1956 Denvers, a 1957, two 1957 Denver Mints, uh, 1958, and three 1958 Denver Mints. Um, not all these were old, like I said, but, I mean, they're still wheat pennies, so, I mean, I save all wheat pennies. Uh, this is the 1944, now it's definitely had some circulation, but it's still got luster. So I'll probably put this one in a 2x2 two two, even though it's got, I don't know what that is on the front, but you can definitely see some luster. The back's got some too, so that one will be going into a 2x2. Two two. This 1958 I kind of debated on putting in a 2x2 two two as well because it's kind of red-brown. Um, it's got like red around the lettering, but the rest of it's brown. It's, it's got a lot of luster still, but... um. I thought those were cool, those almost uncirculated ones. Also got some old Canadian pennies right here, uh, 1951, 62, and 63, the 63 being almost uncirculated. Uh, and then a Euro 2 cent right here. Let me focus the camera. I got my flash on because... Uh, it's kind of dark in my room, and I wanted you guys to be able to see, but uh, when I'm trying to capture uh, shiny coins, it, it doesn't really work well because the it, the light just reflects back, and it makes a it just makes like a white ball come up on camera. But um, 35 wheat pennies was a really good box. Um, well, I did pick up the extra ten dollars, like I said. Um, also, I'm going to do in this video a uh, slab update because um, I was going to do a separate video until I uploaded it and went up in 360p. So I deleted it thinking that I still had another copy of it in HD and the copy I had of it is gone. So I'm just going to talk about these now. This is a 1938 Denver Mint Buffalo Nickel Mint State 65. Uh, I got this from Josh Coins on Instagram. Um, if you guys have Instagram, go check him out. His username is just all lowercase, no spaces, Josh Coins. Um, he gave me a really good deal on this, $35. And the price guide 
says 50 on PCGS.com. Um, this could easily go Mint State 66 to, uh, these days grading standards are kind of lower than what they used to be, so, um, this coin that was once graded in Mint State 65 would come back a 66 if I was lucky today, but I'm not going to break this one out of the case because, uh, the case is so old, it's from the late 80s when, uh, PCGS was just starting to operate, and, um, it's a really cool looking slab too. Also guys, uh, I meant to do a video on this bef uh, before, but I'm not sure I did one. Uh, anyway, I traded with Relic Digger and I got a 1970S um, nickel proof, uh, proof 68 by uh, PCGS. This is a modern PCGS slab as you can tell, but um, I thought this was cool. And uh, you guys should go check out his YouTube. Uh, he's got Instagram, too. Um, so if you guys have Instagram, remember to check out Josh Coins and Relic Digger. And also just go out or go check out Relic Digger's channel on YouTube. Um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you thought these new slabs were cool that I got. And uh, I'm going to be doing another competition hunt with Relic Digger soon. So there will be more live coin roll hunting on my page soon. Um, I know you guys liked the live coin roll hunting. I got some feedback from my friends that had, uh, contacted me over Instagram and watched some of my live streams and they wanted me to keep it going and do more. So, um, I'll be doing the competition Friday, like I said, hopefully more in the future. Um, but yeah, thank you guys for watching and, um, go check out everyone that I shouted out.